Hi, I'm James and I am the head of the teacher training department or the TESOL department here at Renault and I want to share our weekly tip with you. Um, our weekly tip is talking about practice activities. Now something that a lot of teachers do is do practice activities that really just focus on how you make the grammar or how you spell a word. And studies have shown that meaning-based practice activities are more helpful for actually acquiring or getting language. So here's a couple of examples. So this is a practice activity on the first conditional, and you can see it focuses on how to make the grammar. Now, this is helpful, but an easy way to use this is to have the students do this first, but then, as a second thing, have them focus on the meaning. So it's very easy. You can just have them talk about, does this apply to you? And you can have them talk in pairs. Another example is with uh, matching do and make, something that's very difficult for students. So this focuses on just, is it do or is it make? But you can convert it or add to it by having them discuss where do you do these things so that they're using this in some kind of context and really focusing on the meaning. So it's an easy way to extend an existing activity. How does this apply to you? Is this true for you? Ask each other questions around, around the, the sentences that you use.